Have you ever been taught how to succeed in a job interview? One of the things that people often say is you've got to pay attention to your body language because the way that you stand or sit or hold yourself or what you do with your hands where your eyes are looking and things like that, they speak volumes. But actually, of course, our words are the place that we tend to focus and that's why we're able to have a conversation by phone uh, and... Uh, uh, and still understand what the other person is saying. Words are absolutely fundamental for any relationship. And in Psalm 119, we discover that God's word means that there is the real possibility of relationship between us and him. That may seem a really obvious thing to say, but it's not. If we were starting from scratch, if we had to invent ideas about God or invent a religion, I wonder whether that would really occur to us that the God who made the universe is someone that we can know personally and intimately have a relationship with. Here are three verses from uh, the second stanza of Psalm 119, verses 9 to 11. How can a young person stay on the path of purity? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I've hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Do you see there is relationship built into that whole structure because uh, it's your word and my response all the way through the psalm. God's word, whether it's precepts or decrees or statutes or law or commands, God speaks and we listen. God commands and we obey. That's the expectation. And that means there is a relationship. It's not a relationship of equals, but it's a relationship which is real. Our response matters to God and his word to us needs to matter to us. And in fact, as these verses tell us, God's word uh, transforms us in that relationship we have with him, when we listen to him, when we obey him, that actually transforms us into different people from whom we would otherwise be. So how can a young person, uh, the psalmist asks, how can a young person stay on the path of purity? Are you a parent? Are you a grandparent? A godparent? Do your friends have children? How can a young person, wouldn't you love to know the secret of bringing up your children or grandchildren in a good way? so that they don't uh, go off the, the straight and narrow. Well, the psalmist says, well, living according to God's word, that's how we stay on the path of purity, whether we're young or old. If you're an old person, the answer's the same for you. The relationship we have with God, which his word mediates for us, means that we can please him and we can live a good life. Uh, did you notice those words in that verse 10? He says, I seek you with all my heart. And verse 11, I've hidden your word in my heart. That's more than just a superficial reading of it, isn't it? Uh, you know, um, uh, if you have a, a, a baby and you're trying to uh, get the baby to eat food, whether it's mashed up apple puree or something like, like that, it's no good just to show the baby the food and then say, right, get on with it. You've actually got to spoon feed, but you've got to get the spoon and put it in the baby's mouth so that the food goes in and goes all the way down. And the psalmist says, I've hidden your word in my heart. Not just reading, I, I make sure it goes right down inside me because otherwise I, I, I'm going to have a very light superficial engagement with it. Wouldn't it be great if each of us, no, we're not just reading God's word, but really hiding it in our hearts? Because that relationship we have with God is so important and we want to live according to his word. Here we go, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that your word does transform us because our relationship with you means that your, your commands are good for us. Please help us to hide your word in our heart, not just to have it in front of our eyes, but to know your word and to be ready to obey you day by day. We pray in Jesus' name, the word made flesh. Amen. Amen. How are you finding these helpful thoughts for the day? I love this psalm. If you've not already opened your own Bible to read Psalm 119, why not do that today sometime? Uh, so long, you might want to do it in two chunks. In my Bible, it's six pages long. But uh, read it. Read it. There's no substitute. God bless you and I hope you have a great day.